UK Revolution Radio. Here we go. It is Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and it is time for the Quantum Leap Show. Let light unite with our goddess spiritual warrior, Kathy Bilski. I've got a very special show planned for you tonight. Well, I'm still in my birthday week, and, you know, here in Hawaii, we actually do a birthday month, if you're lucky. Uh, So I had such a beautiful birthday, and we do have the full moon coming up this Friday, that I thought I would love to gift everybody with something special today. So what I'm going to do is going to do back-to-back soul retrievals. And no, I'm not going to take one soul retrieval and drag it out over two hours. I'm going to do two separate soul retrievals. So you can either join in for one or, you know, really go for that quantum growth and and experience both. Now, for those of you that don't understand what a soul retrieval is, it's very, very powerful. It is shamanistic. And it's not something people that normally do normally on radio because this is a karmic thing and whatever spiritual anything you put out there, you're responsible for. So I am responsible for everything that happens to you after you listen to my work. So soul retrieval is actually taking back all your energy that you've given away or people have taken from you with or without your permission from all your earth incarnations, past, present, future, planetary. And I also do a major curse removal. I remove your mother's overlay and your father's overlay. And many people ask me, why do you do that? Well, you know, when we're parents, We put overlays over our kids to protect them, and nobody teaches us to really take them away. So when you see that boy growing up like dad or, you know, that young woman growing up just like mom or the boy turning out just like mom, that means that parent has a real heavy overlay over that child, and that child wasn't able to see what their gifts are because of that parental overlay, and they literally become the parent or what their parent was. So we're going to get rid of that. And like I said, I do a major curse removal, so it'll take all hour to do it. And then I'm going to do it again a second time. For me this year, you know, why I do the radio show, it's called Quantum Leap Let Light Unite. And this year, it's really going to be my focus to do what I can to help people really quantum leap into enlightenment. And again, by giving you a back-to-back soul retrieval, you're going to have some growth. Now, this will go up on YouTube by the end of the weekend. And if you really want some mass spiritual growth, you can listen to it again. But please, you know... If you're going to do it, and who am I to say what your spiritual growth should be? I am not. I just want you to use caution when you listen to the soul retrieval because it's very, very powerful. And, you know, by me not putting it up on YouTube for at least a week, you're going to have, you know, four or five days to be able to integrate this energy work. And then you can do it again and then wait a week and allow yourself to integrate that work. And then if you want to do it again, do it one more time and then leave it alone for a while. And then I wouldn't do soul retrieval again until, you know, you might have had an accident or you might have had a death in the family or you've been very, very ill or you feel very out of balance. You know, you're good. So also, if you're going to do this again, and I'm going to say this now, and it's very, very important, you need to ground at the end. And that means when you're done with the soul retrieval, you're going to be very, very spacey and high. So you need to pull all your energies in and literally reconnect to the earth, come back to earth, so to speak. And I really encourage people, if you got hematite, you might want to go get it now and um Just have it on the side so when we're done, you can grab it and help you ground. 
And if you don't have that, you know, go run outside and go to your nearest tree and just put your hands on the tree and send all the excess energy in the tree and then ask the tree to send you energy back. And you'll, you know, feel very, very grounded. So what I'm going to do tonight with the soul retrieval, just going to do a very basic um, outline for you, is we're going to open up all your chakras and then we're going to pull all your energy up into a bubble of light around your heart. And from that will come an endless string of light. And we're going to put a big super scooper on that to help you take back all your energy that you've given away or people have taken from you with or without your permission from all your incarnations. We're going to go to past, present, future, planetary. I do a major curse removal. Remove your mother's overlay, father's overlay. And if all of a sudden I start burping, I'm burping to help everybody release energy. I mean, it's what I do if you were in person and you had stuck energy and you couldn't let it go. It's like a service and I take it on and I release it. So when you're doing this huge group energy, it's one huge group release. I'm not being crude. All right. So for those of that are going to participate, I need you to sit quietly and put your feet flat out on the floor and put your hands in your lap like you're going to receive. And I want you to start taking some gentle deep breaths. And as you're doing that, I surround each and every one of you in a bubble of golden flame. I add to that the blue flame of protection, the violet flame of transmutation, the green flame of healing, and I seal each and every one of you in a pink flame of love. I call to your teacher's guides, masters, all the divine beings that work around you, invite them in to help us make this energy work as gentle, loving, and kind as we can. So I want you to start taking some gentle deep breaths, and as you exhale, imagine yourself releasing everything that no longer serves you. Imagine that energy going through the violet flame back to God, and you start filling up with your divine essence. Okay, one more time, take a deep breath, and again, release everything that's left in your body that no longer serves you, and it all goes through the violet flame back to God, and you fill up with your divine essence. So I want you to imagine this incredible divine healing energy coming down from God, coming into the top of your head in your crown chakra. Feel that energy flow down and imagine it flowing out your third eye, the middle of your forehead. And now allow that divine energy to flow even farther and imagine it coming out of your throat chakra. And now feel that divine energy coming out of your heart chakra. Ooh. All right, let's imagine that energy coming out of the heart chakra one more time. And now feel it flow down and come out of your solar plexus. Let's do the solar plexus one more time. Now feel that energy flow down even farther and feel it come out of your belly button chakra. And now allow it to flow out of your root chakra. So feel that divine energy flow all the way down your legs. Let it go out your feet and send it into the earth. And imagine that divine energy flowing down your arms and out your hands and let it flow down your spine. So what we're going to do now is pull all your divine energy up into a bubble of light around your heart. So feel all your divine energy now being pulled up from your toes, your ankles, up your calves, up your knees, your thighs, your rear, your waist. And it's all going into this bubble of light that's forming around your heart. Feel your divine energy being peeled up from your fingers, your hands, your wrists, your elbows, Feel it being drawn around your shoulders and all going into this bubble of light forming around your heart. Now feel your divine essence being peeled off the top of your head, off the sides, the back of your head, your face, your neck, your back, your spine, and all going into this bubble of light that's around your heart. Now I call to this bubble of light, and if there's any of your divine essence that's left in you, I'm going to ask this bubble of light that's around your heart to magnetize to it now. So from this bubble of light, you're going to imagine this endless string of light coming from it. And we're going to put a big super scooper at the end to help you take back all your divine energy that you've given away or people have taken from you with or without your permission. So I'm going to ask 
your one of your little angels to come forth to take the end of the super scooper. And I want you to send one of your soul cells to go with the angel. And we're going to start journeying backwards in time. So now feel yourself going backwards in time. And feel yourself getting younger and younger and younger as you go backwards in time. And now you're in high school and junior high and elementary and you're a baby, baby and being carried in your mother's womb and you're going back even farther in time. So now you've gone past this earth incarnation. And now you're going backwards even farther in time and farther and farther and past all your earth incarnations. And now you're going back even farther in time and farther and farther and farther. And now you're going past all your planetary incarnations. And now feel yourself going backwards even farther in time and farther and farther and farther. And now feel yourself reconnect with the creator. And as you reconnect with the creator, I'm going to ask the creator to send you all your divine energy that she's been holding for you all these eons. And I want you to let that energy now to flow through your aura. And as it flows through your aura, your aura is now very solid. There are no more holes in the aura. And now allow this energy to come into your superconscious, your subconscious, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind. And now just allow it to pour through your body, flowing all the way down your legs, out your feet, into the earth, down your arms, through your fingers, through your fingertips. Let it flow through your hair, down your spine. Just feel every cell atom molecule in you reconnecting with the creator. Just feel all your divine essence pour into your body. And as that's happening, I call to your higher self and I ask your higher self to activate your divine blueprint for perfect health that you came into this lifetime. I'm going to ask the creator to activate this divine blueprint for perfect health to manifest in your body now. And now I'm going to ask the creator if there's any of your divine essence that he is going to send you that you're supposed to receive for this session. And I'm going to ask that he sends it to you now. So take a deep breath and allow all that energy just come pouring into your body and let it integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, your atoms, your molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And now we're going to go farther. And we're going to take back all your divine energy that you gave away or people have taken from you, with or without your permission, from all your earth incarnations. And now I want you to feel all that energy from all those past life earth incarnations, starting at the very first incarnation you ever had, going up until but not including this lifetime. And now feel all that divine essence that's yours come pouring back into your body from all those earth incarnations. And as you're taking back all that energy, I call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on that's not yours. Whether it's from a friend, relative, acquaintance, stranger, anybody you work with, TV set, animal, whatever the karmic reason is that created anything out of balance in your life or your body today. And as all that unwanted energy is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to reptile, dinosaur energy, secret societies, organized religion, cut all ties to any oaths, vows, curses, hexes, rituals that could have been done to you or your family going backwards and forwards hundreds of thousands of generations or anything you could have done consciously or unconsciously. And as all that unwanted energy too is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to any effigies that have been misused against you. And that's any elemental of yours that was used to hurt you or anyone, including anything you own 
close here, a picture, your name spoken, written, just thought of, or anything you have your energy on and as ties to all those elementals are cut. I call the violet flame through them to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We fill them up with love and I command them to be neutral or only emit love. And now I want Michael to come forth, remove any energy implants that have been done to you or anything that could have carried over from any other lifetime because of dark magic, voodoo, or dark witchcraft, or just dark thoughts. So I want the stick, pin, needle, or knife that's in your crown chakra removed from your third eye, your throat, heart, solar plexus, belly button, root, feet, hands, spine, your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hips, teeth, anywhere in your body that's out of balance and as you feel. All those pins, needles, and eyes being very gently removed. Imagine those spaces immediately fill up with the violet flame to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We release all that unwanted energy back to God, and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to patriarchy, genocide, rape, incest, slavery, prostitution, persecution, circumcision, removing any energy overlay that's trying to manipulate you keeping you from connecting with God, healing yourself, being really successful, fulfilling all your divine missions and living your life in joy. And as all that unwanted energy is gently removed, it's keeping all these wonderful things from coming to you. We also send it through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. So I'm going to ask the creator if there's any more of your divine essence that you're supposed to receive from all those earth incarnations for this session. I'm going to ask that she sends it to you now. <sighs> so allow all that energy to integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, your atoms, your molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. So take one more deep breath. And just allow that energy work just to integrate, flow into any of the areas in your body that's out of balance. And we're going to ask, send energy to any area in your body that has discomfort. And just feel that energy start to warm up and vibrate with that creator's energy. All right, so now we're going to move forward while you're being healed internally. And as this time as we move forward, we're again going to reconnect with the creator. But this time it was before you actually incarnated into this lifetime. And we're going to ask the creator to send you all your information on all your divine missions and your divine purposes and how you're going to fulfill them. So allow all that energy now to come pouring into your aura. And again, your aura is becoming more solid. <clears throat> and you're more protected. And now allow that energy to come into your super conscious, your subconscious, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind. And now it's pouring into your body flowing all the way down your legs, out your feet, down your arms, out your hands. Feel it flow down your spine. And with every breath, you're taking on more information and more energy from the Creator. And it's going to become very, very clear to you as the days go by what they are, and it's going to make you very joyful. And you're going to also be given all the possibilities on how to be successful. All right. So again, I'm going to ask the creator if there's any of your divine essence, any information that you're supposed to receive for this session, that that energy be sent to you now. And again, allow it to flow through your body and integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, your atoms, your molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And now we're going to go farther. And we're going to take back all your divine energy that you've given away or people have taken from you, with or without your permission, 
from this earth incarnation. And we're going to start at the very point of conception. And I want you to imagine yourself being carried in your mother's womb. And as you're focusing on that time, I'm going to call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on at that time that's not yours. Any thoughts, feelings, emotions? Emotions, fears, worries, concerns, habits, dreams, wishes, anything that no longer serves you that doesn't belong to you, anything that affected your mother while she was carrying you. And allow all that unwanted energy to be peeled off of you gently like an onion skin. It all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to cut all ties to you being born and going through the birth canal. And feel that unwanted energy now that no longer serves you being peeled off of you gently like an onion skin. It all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. So now I want you to take back all your energy from your mother, your father, your sister, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, all your children over puberty all your old lovers, your current lover, people you worked with, acquaintances, animals, strangers, and your higher self knows who all these people are. And as you're taking back this divine energy from this earth incarnation, that's yours, your divine essence, I call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on that's not yours, whether it's from a friend, relative, acquaintance, stranger, anybody you work with, TV set, animal, whatever the karmic reason is, it created anything out of balance in your life or your body today. And as all that unwanted energy is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to reptile, dinosaur energy, secret societies, organized religion, cut all ties to any oaths, vows, curses, hexes, rituals that could have been done to you or your family going backwards and forwards hundreds of thousands of generations or anything you could have done consciously or unconsciously and as that energy too is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin it all goes through the violet flame back to god and you fill up with more of your divine essence and now i want michael to come forth can all ties to any effigies that have been misused against you and that's any elemental of yours that was used to hurt you or anyone including anything you own Close hair picture, your name spoken, written, just thought of, or anything you have your energy on and as ties to all those elementals are cut. I call the violet flame through them to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We fill them up with love. I command them to be neutral or only emit love. And now I want Michael to come forth, remove any energy implants that have been done to you or anything that could have carried over from any other lifetime because of dark magic, voodoo, or dark witchcraft. So I want the stick, pen, needle, or knife that's in your crown chakra removed from your third eye, your throat, heart, solar plexus, belly button, root, feet, hands, spine, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hips, teeth, anywhere in your body that's out of balance. And as you feel all those pins, needles, and eyes being very gently removed, imagine all those spaces immediately fill up with the violet flame to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We release all that unwanted energy back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to patriarchy, genocide, rape, incest, slavery, prostitution, persecution, circumcision, removing any energy overlay that's trying to manipulate you, keeping you from connecting with the creator, healing yourself, being really successful, fulfilling all your divine missions and living your life in joy. And as all the unwanted energies gently removed, that's keeping all these wonderful things from coming to you. We also send it through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. So now I call to the creator and I'm going to ask the creator if there's any of your divine essence that you're supposed to receive for this session from this earth incarnation. And if there's any that you're supposed to be receiving, then let it you be sent, let it be sent to you now. And as you allow this energy to gently flow into your body, let it integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down 
into your DNA. And now we're going to move forward and we're going to remove the energy overlay that your mother placed on you or your stepmother or whoever that mother figured was in your life put on you. So I'm going to ask your little angel to come forward and feel that energy being unzipped from the top of your head, now being peeled off the top of your head, off your face, off your ears, off the back of your head. Feel it being removed off your neck, off your shoulders. We're peeling her energy off your arm, off your elbows, your wrist, your fingers. And as we take her energy off your fingers, we send it through the violet flame back to God, back to her, and we bless her. But you don't need it anymore. And you fill up with your divine essence. Now feel her energy coming off your back, your spine, your lungs, your internal organs, your sexual organs, your male female organs. Feel her energy being taken off your waist, your rear thighs, knees, calves, ankle, off your feet, off your toes. And as we pull her energy off your toes, we also send it through the violet flame back to God back to her and we bless her but you don't need it anymore and you fill up with your divine essence so i'm going to ask the creator now to send you your divine energy that your mother's overlay has stopped you from receiving so allow that energy to pour into your body Flow all the way down your legs, out your feet, down your arms, out your hands, down your spine. And with every breath, feel more of this divine energy that is yours. Come pouring into your body. And now I'm going to ask the creator to send you all the energy that you're supposed to have for this session and to give it to you now. So take a deep breath. And as you exhale, allow that energy to gently flow into your body and let it integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And now we're going to remove the energy overlay that your father put over you or your stepfather or whoever that father figure was in your life. And imagine your little angel unzipping that energy off from the top of your head. Now feel it being peeled off the sides, off your ears, off the back of your head. Feel his energy coming off your face, off your neck. We're peeling it off your shoulders. We're pulling it down your arms, off your elbows, your wrists, your hands. And as we take his energy off your fingers, we send it through the violet flame back to God, back to him. And we bless him, but you don't need it anymore. And you fill up with your divine essence. Now feel his energy come off your back, your spine, all your internal organs, your sexual organs, male, female organs. Feel it being removed off your waist, your rear, your calves, off your ankles, your feet. And as we take his energy off your toes, we send it through the violet flame back to God, back to him. Bless him. But you don't need it anymore, and you fill up with your divine essence. So now I'm going to ask the Creator to send you your divine energy that your Father's overlay has kept you from receiving. So take a deep breath and allow this energy to gently pour into your body and let it integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And with every breath, feel more of this energy coming into your body. And again, I'm going to ask the Creator that to send you whatever energy you're supposed to receive from this session that your Father's overlay has kept you from receiving. Now again, take a deep breath, allow this energy to gently flow into your body. Let it integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. Take a deep breath again and let it integrate. So now we're going to move forward and we're going to take back all your divine energy that you gave away or people have taken from you with or without your permission from your future and your future lifetime. So feel that energy now. Come pouring back into your body. 
from your future and your future lifetimes. And as you're taking back that divine energy, I again call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on that's not yours, whether it's from a friend, relative, acquaintance, stranger, anybody you work with, TV, son, animal, whatever the karmic reason is that created anything out of balance in your life or your body today. And as all that unwanted energy is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you want to fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to reptile dinosaur energy secret societies organized religion cut all ties to any oath spouse curses hexes rituals that could have been done to you or your family going backwards and forwards hundreds of thousands of generations or anything you could have done consciously or unconsciously and is all that unwanted energy too is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin it all goes through the violet flame back to god and you fill up with more of your divine essence and now i want michael to come forth cut all ties to any effigies that have been misused against you and that's any elemental of yours who was used to hurt you or anyone including anything you own clothes hair picture your name spoken written just thought of or anything you have your energy on and as ties to all those elementals are cut I call the violet flame through them to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We fill them up with love. I command them to be neutral or only emit love. And now I want Michael to come forth, remove any energy implants that have been done to you or anything that could have carried over from any other lifetime because of dark magic, voodoo, or dark witchcraft, or just dark thoughts. So I want the stick, pen, needle, or knife that's in your crown chakra removed from your third eye or throat, heart, Solar plexus, belly button, root, feet, hands, spine, your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hips, teeth, anywhere in your body that's out of balance. And as you feel all those pins, needles, and knives being very gently removed, imagine all those spaces immediately fill up with the violet flame to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We release all that unwanted energy back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth. Cut all ties to patriarchy, genocide, rape, incest, slavery, prostitution, persecution, circumcision, removing any energy overlay that's trying to manipulate you, keeping you from connecting with God, healing yourself, being really successful, fulfilling all your divine missions and living your life in joy. And as all the unwanted energy is gently removed, that's keeping all these wonderful things from coming to you. We send it through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. So I'm going to ask the creator now if there's any more of your divine energy that you're supposed to receive from the future and future lifetimes for this session that be given to you now. Take a deep breath and allow all that energy now to integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way as it pours into your body. With all your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. So one more gentle breath. And let it integrate. Now we're going to move forward. We're going to take back all your divine energy that you gave away or people have taken from you, with or without your permission, from all those planetary lifetimes. And I want you to imagine yourself a bouncing ball. And as you bounce from planet to planet, you just super suck up all your divine energy. And as you're doing that, I again call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on that's not yours, whether it's from a friend, relative, acquaintance, stranger, anybody you work with, TV, son, animal, whatever the karmic reason is, it created anything out of balance in your life or your body today. And as all that unwanted energy is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to any... Reptile, dinosaur, energy, secret societies, organized religion, cut all ties to any oath, spouse, curses, hexes, rituals that could have been done to you or your family going backwards and forwards, hundreds of thousands of generations or anything you could have done, consciously or unconsciously, and feel all that unwanted energy being gently peeled off of you like an onion skin. It all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. I call to Michael to come forth and cut all ties to any effigies that have been misused against you. And again, that's any elemental of yours who was used to hurt you or anyone, including anything you own, clothes, hair, picture, your name's spoken, thought of, anything that has your energy on and as ties to all those elementals are kind of called the violet flame through them to clean it up, angel light energy to heal. We release the energy back to God, 
fill them up with love. We command them to be neutral or only emit love. And again, I want Michael to come forth, remove any energy implant that's been done to you or anything that could have carried over from those lifetimes to affect you in this lifetime. So I want the stick, pen, needle, or knife that's in your crown chakra removed from your third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, belly button, root, feet, hands, spine, your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hips, teeth, anywhere in your body that's out of balance. And as you feel all those pins, needles, and knives being very gently removed, imagine all those spaces immediately fill up with the violet flame to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We release all that unwanted energy back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to patriarchy, genocide, rape, incest, slavery, prostitution, persecution, circumcision, removing any energy overlay that's trying to manipulate you, keeping you from connecting with God, healing yourself, being really successful, fulfilling all your divine missions and living your life in joy. And as all that unwanted energy is gently removed, that's keeping all these wonderful things from coming to you. We send it through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. So I'm going to call to the creator now and ask the creator to send you any of your divine essence that's left from any of those planetary incarnations that you're supposed to receive for this session. So now allow all that energy to flow gently into your body. And as you breathe gently and deeply, allow it to integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. So take a gentle, deep breath, exhale, and let this integrate. And now we're going to move forward. So I call to your teachers, guides, masters, all the angels that are working with you, and I invite them in. And if any of them have any information for you or any energy that they're holding for you, we're going to give them permission to give it to you now. <clears throat> so allow that energy now just to pour into your aura, and your aura is becoming more solid. You're very, very protected. Feel it come into your super conscious, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind, your subconscious mind, your unconscious mind. And now let it pour into your body. And with every breath, feel more of this information. Just coming gently into your body, flowing all the way down your legs, out your feet, down your arms, out your hands, down your spine. And now I'm going to call to your teacher's guides, masters, angels, and I'm going to ask them to send you any more of your energy information that you're supposed to have for this session. And I'm going to ask that they give it to you now. And as you take a gentle breath, allow that energy to flow into your crown chakra gently all the way through your body, integrating with every cell, atom, molecule, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. So take a gentle breath, and again, let this integrate. So what we're going to do now is pull all your divine energy up into another bubble of light around your heart. So feel your energy being peeled up, being pulled up from your toes, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, your hips, and it's all going into this bubble of light forming around your heart. Feel your divine essence being pulled up from your fingertips, your wrists, your elbows, being drawn around your shoulder and all going into this bubble of light around your heart. Feel your divine essence coming down from the top of your head off your sides, being drawn down off the back, off your face, down your neck, down your spine, all your internal organs, your divine energy being drawn into this bubble of light that's forming around your heart. Now, what I want you to do, starting at the top of your head and going towards your feet, I want you to do a mental scan of your body. And if there's anywhere that feels out of place, I want you to take this bubble of light that's around your heart and send it into that area until it becomes lighter. All right. Now take a gentle deep breath and 
allow your energy now just to flow normally. And what I want you to do for me now is to pay attention to where the end of your aura is. Does it feel very far away or very close to you? If it feels very far away, then let's do a little bit more work to pull it in because I want it six inches to eight inches um, from your nose. So take a gentle breath. And as you inhale, feel your energy now being drawn, your aura being drawn closer to your body. And you exhale and you inhale again and your aura is drawn even closer. And you exhale. And again, you inhale and feel your energy now. It's about six to eight inches from your nose. And feel yourself, you're in this very lovely warm cocoon, which is your divine essence. All right, now this is the end for this session. For those of you that are going to go and do another soul retrieval, the second hour, you don't have to ground so heavy. And for those of you that are not going to do another soul retrieval, I want you to make sure your feet are flat on the ground and feel the earth energy now. We're going to ground you. Come up your legs. And with every breath, more of that earth energy is coming up. And it's pulling your energies in. You're becoming very, very centered, very clear-headed. And with every breath now, more of the earth energy is coming up and you're becoming even more centered, more clear-headed, more focused. And again, feel yourself, the earth energy pulling up your legs and become very, very centered. Now, if you're not, if you're still lightheaded after this, and if you can, you know, go hold your hematite only if you're not going to go on to the next hour and do another soul retrieval. If you are not, you really want to ground. If you're very spacey, again, I recommend going outside and go hug a tree. Put your hands on a tree. Put your back up against the tree. Just imagine all that excess energy that you now have in your body. Going into the tree, do that for 30 seconds. doesn't take a long time. And then you ask the tree to send you energy back and you will ground. And if you're very, very sensitive, you'll actually feel the energy get a little bit heavier. Now, this is going to happen down the road and it's going to happen to everybody. Nobody gets away from it. It can happen as soon as tomorrow and as far away as six months down the road. Now, it takes a little bit of time for the energy work to catch up with the inner organs. And when it does, you might feel a little nauseous. Usually by the time people experience it, they've forgotten all about me and everything I've said about this. And, you know, you work through it pretty quickly. So for those of you that are going to go on to the next session, um, it might be a good time to go do that little bathroom break, you know, while the commercials are going to be starting pretty soon. And uh, if you have a crystal, go get that crystal and hold it while we do the next hour. And it's really going to amplify your energy even more. I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well go for the gold, right? Right. And again, for those of you that are not going to go on, make sure you're grounded. You know, go eat something. Or, you know, go take a nice relaxing bath. And if you don't, don't blame me if you have too much energy. Okay? Now, I want to remind you that Revolution Radio is listener-sponsored. We don't get paid for this, all right? Nobody does. It's all volunteer. And we really appreciate the support you give. And when you come down to actually, you know, go back to Revolution Radio's site and, you know, go to the donation and give everybody a donation. doesn't have to be big, but 
yeah, if you want to put a price tag on the energy work I do, which I can't, and I don't, but other people do put a price tag on soul retrieval. And the woman that I learned it from, she was charging $300 a session. And I've been told people charge up to 5000 a session. So, you know, I am gifting this to you tonight. And I hope you, you know, had taken advantage of it. And if you're going to do the second half, you might even want to call a few of your friends and, you know, tell them about the energy work that they're going to receive for free as a gift and get some incredible movement from. So allow yourself at the end um, of the show again, and even the end of the session to integrate the work, no parties. Okay. Don't do any heavy drinking. If you want to do a glass of wine to relax, fine. Go do some Pocololo uh, pot, Pocololo pot. That's fine. Relax, but don't go into any bars. You know, you've just gotten this incredible light work done and you don't want to wreck it by going into some really weird places. So, you know, have a nice dinner or again, you know, relax and just go to bed after this. Let the energy integrate and you'll wake up feeling refreshed and full of energy and all that other good stuff. So again, we're going to do another soul retrieval in the second hour. And then it will be up again on YouTube uh, the end of the week. So if you really felt inclined that you needed more energy work, all right, go for it. I want you to quantum leap. That's what this show is about, quantum leaping everyone, not only into enlightenment, but to help you go beyond your potential and be successful and clear out everything. Uh, this is, I think we can do the quantum leaping the world into enlightenment this year. So let's put that energy out and, you know, keep those thoughts. If we were and we are quantum leaping the world into enlightenment and you were invited to join, how would you do it? Where would you put your energies? Anyway, we will discuss that more as the weeks go by because it's very important to have a plan and as they say, a strategy on how to quantum leap the world into enlightenment. Now, the other side definitely has a strategy, so why can't we? And we will. You got to think about it. It's like the snowball effect. The more people that think about quantum leaping the world into enlightenment, it's going to happen. And the more people, it's like the hundred monkey theory. If you don't know what that one is, um, a long time ago, a group of scientists went to some islands in the Pacific and taught a monkey how to wash its fruit and then just sat back and observed. And then after a while, of course, the monkeys imitated that one monkey that washed its fruit. And theoretically, when the hundredth monkey actually imitated um, the first monkey and all the other monkeys... All the monkeys everywhere around the world started washing their food. So this is a group consciousness that we're going for. And like I said, the snowball effect, the more people that join, the more people are going to become awakened and enlightened. And that is what we are here for. And when everything we are enlightened, everything else will fall into place no matter what your attention is on, no matter what your missions are, it will fall into place once the world is into enlightenment. So again, we're going to do uh, another soul retrieval in the second half. So if you want to take your break, go ahead and do it. Go do the bathroom break. You know, go get the crystal whatever you want to do to amplify, you know, this next session. And let's really make it a powerful one where well, it's going to be because it's a double soul retrieval. I want you to have forward movement. But I also want it to be gentle, loving and kind. Uh-huh. 
um, until we had one minute left and we got more than one minute. So again, um, and if you can just let me go get that hematite too, cause you're going to need it at the end of the show. And the hematite's a great, great grounding stone. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Um, I was just told the time must be a little off. Well, yeah. We'll call it spirit humor. And that's the fun thing about live radio, right? Anyway, again, you know, if you want, um, if you like the soul retrieval the first time, and if you want other people, if you think other people should really receive the gift, then give them a call while we're on break and invite them to join in. Because, man, there is more people that join in, the more powerful the energy work is. All right, there we go. Break. We'll be right back. We're going to go get right into a soul retrieval. Well, welcome back, everybody, to Hour 2 of the Quantum Leap, Let Light Unite. And this is July 28th. The second half of the show, we are doing a soul retrieval. And for those of you that... You're just showing up maybe for the second half of the show. A soul retrieval is very powerful shamanic work. And it's taking back all your energy that you've given away or people have taken from you with or without your permission from all your incarnations, past, present, future, planetary. You know, I do a major curse removal. I remove your mother's overlay, your father's overlay. It's very, very powerful work, energy work. And I'm going to ask you in this, in the beginning, that when you're done with the work, you know, just allow the work to integrate and don't do any parties after the show. Okay. No heavy drinking. Don't ruin the energy work. Okay. Keep it light. If you want to do a glass of wine, that's okay. If you want to relax, that's fine. But just, you know, you're being given a very special gift and take advantage of it. So let's just get to it, okay? So for those of you that are gonna participate, I want you to sit down, put your feet flat on the floor, keep your back up, you know, sit up straight, and imagine yourself this golden cord going up from the top of your head, and you're gonna reconnect with the Creator. And this really high energy just going to flow around you. And as that's happening, I want you to gently take some deep breaths. And as you exhale, I want you to restart releasing everything that no longer serves you. And imagine that energy going through the violet flame back to God. And you just start filling up with your divine essence. And as you're doing that, I surround each and every one of you in a bubble of golden flame. I add to that the blue flame of protection, the violet flame of transmutation, the green flame of healing, and I seal you in the pink flame of love. We call to your teachers, guides, masters, and all the angels and the archangels that work with you, and we invite them in to make this energy work as gentle, loving, and kind as we can. So I want you to take one more deep breath and exhale everything that no longer serves you. And imagine that energy going into the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. So I want you to imagine this incredible high divine healing energy coming down from God, coming into the top of your head, your crown chakra. And imagine it flowing through your brain, reconnecting every cell, atom, molecule of your brain to the creator, which fills you with new inspiration, new possibilities, new ideas. And allow that divine healing energy to flow down even farther and let it flow out your third eye, the middle of your forehead. And as it's flowing out of that chakra, I want you to imagine anywhere that you hurt. I'm going to put my big angel light healing tools on to help release that stuck energy. And you're going to imagine the angel light on your body and this big crystal coming out of it. And it's going to draw out any pain or discomfort that you have. 
All right, so allow that energy now to flow down even farther and imagine it coming out of your throat chakra. And now allow it to flow down even farther and feel it coming out of your heart chakra. And now feel that divine energy flowing down and coming out of your solar plexus chakra. And now feel that divine energy flow down even farther and feel it come out of your belly button chakra. And now feel it flow out of your sacral. And now feel that divine energy flow down even farther and let it flow out of your root chakra. So allow that divine energy now to flow all the way down your legs. Let it go out your feet and send it into the earth. Let it flow down your arms and out your hands and let it flow down your spine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pull all your divine energy energy up into a bubble of light around your heart so feel your divine essence now being drawn up from your toes your arches your ankles your calves your knees your thighs your hips your rear and it's all going into this bubble of light that's forming around your heart feel your divine energy being drawn up from your fingertips your hands, your wrists, your arm, being drawn around your shoulders and all going into this bubble of light forming around your heart. Feel your divine energy being peeled off the top of your head, being drawn off the sides, off the back of your head, off your face, down your neck, and all going into this bubble of light that's around your heart. Now I ask this bubble of light, to magnetize any of your divine essence that's left into your body and to now draw to it into this bubble of light around your heart. <sighs> so from this bubble of light that's around your heart, we're going to imagine this endless string of light coming from it. And at the end of the string of light, we're going to put a big super scooper to help you take back all your divine energy that you've given away or people have taken from you with or without your permission from all your incarnations. And I'm going to ask your little angel to come forward to take the end of this string of light with a big super scooper on it. And I'm going to ask that you send one of your soul selves with the little angel. And now we're going to start journeying backwards in time. And I want you to feel yourself getting younger in this lifetime as you go backwards in time. And you're getting younger and younger, and now you're in high school. And now junior high, elementary, younger, you're in your mother's womb. And now you're flying past this earth incarnation. And you're going backwards even farther in time. And farther and farther and farther. And now you're going past all your earth incarnations. And now feel yourself going backwards even farther in time. And farther and farther and farther. And now you're going past all your planetary incarnations. And feel yourself going backwards even farther in time. And farther and farther and farther. And now I want you to feel yourself reconnect to the creator. And as you reconnect to the creator, I'm going to ask the creator to send you any of your divine essence that she's been holding for you all these eons. And I want you to allow all that high healing energy to flow through your aura. And as it circulates through your aura, your aura is becoming very solid. You have no more holes in your aura. You're very protected. And now allow that divine essence that's yours to come into your super conscious, your subconscious, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind. And now just feel it pour into your body going all the way down your legs, out your feet, 
Let it flow down your arms, out your hands, down your spine. Feel it flow through your hair. And with every breath, feel more of this divine energy. Come pouring into your body. And as you're taking this energy in, I call to Michael, the, your higher self, and ask your higher self to activate your divine blueprint for perfect health, the one that you put together before you manifested and you incarnated into this lifetime. And we're going to ask that that's activated now in your body. And with every breath, just feel more of this energy come pouring into your body. And I'm going to ask the creator to send you any of your energy that you're supposed to have for this session to send it to you now. And again, allow it to gently flow into your body. And let's let it integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, your atoms, your molecules, all your inter internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. So take another deep breath and let that energy integrate as you exhale. And one more time. And as you exhale, you allow that energy to integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, your atoms, your molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And now we're going to move forward in time and we're going to start taking back all your divine energy that you've given away or people have taken from you with or without your permission from all those earth incarnations you've had starting at the very first earth incarnation going all the way up but not including this lifetime so allow all that energy now all your divine essence to come pouring into your body and as you're doing that, I call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on that's not yours, whether it's from a friend, relative, acquaintance, stranger, anybody you work with, TV set animal, whatever the karmic reason is that created anything out of balance in your life or your body today. And as all that unwanted energies gently peeled off of you like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to reptile, dinosaur energy, secret societies, organized religion, cut all ties to any oaths, vows, curses, hexes, rituals that could have been done to you or your family going backwards and forwards, hundreds of thousands of generations or anything you could have done consciously or unconsciously. And as all that energy too is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now you want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to any effigies that have been misused against you, and that's any elemental of yours that was used to hurt you or anyone, including anything you own, clothes, hair, picture, your name spoken, written, just thought of, or anything you have your energy on. And as ties to all those elementals are cut, I call the violet flame through them to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal we fill them up with love. I command them to be neutral or only emit love. And now I want Michael to come forth, remove any energy implant that's been done to you or anything that could have carried over from any other lifetime that's affecting you today. So I want the stick, pen, needle, or knife that's in your crown chakra removed from your third eye, your throat, heart, solar plexus, belly button, root, feet, hands, spine, your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hips, teeth, anywhere in your body that's out of balance. And as you feel all those pins, needles, and knives being very gently removed, imagine all those spaces immediately fill up with the violet flame to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We release all that unwanted energy back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to patriarchy, genocide, rape, incest, slavery, prostitution, persecution, circumcision, removing any energy overlay that's trying to manipulate you, keeping you from 
connecting with the creator, healing yourself, being really successful, fulfilling all your divine missions and living your life in joy. And as all that unwanted energy is gently removed, that's keeping all these wonderful things from coming to you. We also send it through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. So take a gentle, deep breath. And just let this energy integrate. And I call to your higher self. And I ask your higher self now, if there's any of your divine essence left that you're supposed to receive from all those earth incarnations for this session, that you're to be given it now. And as you take a gentle deep breath and as you exhale, feel all that energy gently integrating with every cell, atom, molecule, Adam, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. So one more gentle deep breath. And as you exhale, let this integrate. One more time, gentle deep breath. And as you exhale, all this integrates in a gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And now we're going to move forward in time. And I again want you to reconnect with the creator. And this time as you reconnect with the creator, it's before you incarnated into this lifetime. And I want the creator to send you all the information you need on what your divine missions are, what your divine purposes are, and how you're going to fulfill them. So allow that energy now to come pouring into your aura. And as it circulates, your aura becomes even more solid. You're more protected. And now allow that information to come into your superconscious, your subconscious, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind. And now allow it just to pour into your body, flowing all the way down your legs. Let it go out your feet. Feel it flow down your arms, out your hands, down your spine. And with every breath, feel more of that information coming into your body. And I'm going to ask the creator if there's any more of your divine essence that's left that you're supposed to receive for the session that you be given it now. And as you take a deep breath and you exhale, allow this energy to gently flow into your body. Flowing all the way down your legs, out your feet, down your arms, out your hands. Flowing through your hair. And allow that energy to integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, your atoms, your molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. But take another breath, and as you exhale, let the energy integrate. We want gentle, loving, kind. And one more breath. Inhale and exhale. And again, let the energies integrate in a gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, animals, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And now we're going to move forward in time, and we're going to take back all your divine energy that you've given away, your people have taken from you, with or without your permission from this earth incarnation. So we're going to start at the very point of conception, and I want you to focus on the time when you were being carried in your mother's womb, and I called him Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on, you absorbed at that time that no longer serves you, that's not yours, any thoughts, feelings, wishes, dreams, concerns, fears, anything that's holding you back that you took on at that time. And as that energy is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to being born and going through the birth canal. 
And as that energy is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. So now I want you to start taking back all your divine energy from your mother, your father, your sister, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, people you worked with, animals, acquaintance, strangers, and your higher self knows who all these beings are. And as you're taking back all that energy, allow it to gently flow into your body and integrate in a gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And as you're taking in your divine essence from this earth incarnation, I call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on that's not yours, whether it's from a friend, relative, acquaintance, stranger, anybody you work with, TV set, animal, whatever the karmic reason is it created anything out of balance in your life or your body today. And as all that unwanted energy is peeled off of you, Gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to reptile, dinosaur energy, secret societies, organized religion, cut all ties to any oath, spouse, curses, hexes, rituals that could have been done to you or your family going backwards and forwards, hundreds of generations or anything you could have done consciously or unconsciously. And as all that unwanted energy too spilled off, if you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to any effigies that have been misused against you. And that's any elemental of yours was used to hurt you or anyone, including anything you own. Close hair picture, your name spoken, written, just thought of, or anything you have your energy on. And as ties to all that unwanted energy is cut from them, we call the violet flame through them to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We fill them up with love. We command them to be neutral or only emit love. And now I want Michael to come forth, remove any energy implant that could have been done to you or anything that could have carried over from any other lifetime because of dark magic, voodoo, dark witchcraft, or dark thought forms that are sent your way. So I want the stick, pin, needle, or knife that's in your crown chakra removed from your third eye, your throat, heart, solar plexus, belly button, root, feet, hands, spine, your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hips, teeth, Anywhere in your body that's out of balance and as you feel all those pins, needles, and knives being very gently removed, imagine all that energy going through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to patriarchy, genocide, rape, incest, slavery, prostitution, persecution, circumcision, removing any energy overlay that's trying to manipulate you, keeping you from connecting with God, healing yourself, being really successful, fulfilling all your divine missions and living your life in joy. And as all the unwanted energies gently removed, it's keeping all these wonderful things from coming to you. We send it all through the violet flame back to God and you keep filling up with more of your divine essence. So I call to your higher self and I ask your higher self if you're supposed to receive any more of your divine essence that's from this earth incarnation that we ask that it be given to you now. And as you take a gentle deep breath and you exhale, feel that energy again pour into your body and let it gently air integrate with all your cells, your atoms, your molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. So take a gentle deep breath and as you exhale, again, let it integrate. And one more time, a gentle deep breath and as you exhale, feel all that energy integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, your atoms, your molecules all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And now we're going to remove the energy overlay that your mother put over you or your stepmother, whoever that mother figure is, and forgot to remove it. So I'm going to ask your little angels to come forth and feel that energy being peeled off your crown chakra, off 
top of your head, the back of your head, the sides, your ears, your face. Feel it just being peeled down your neck, off your shoulders, down your arms, off your hands, your fingers. And we send that energy through the violet flame back to God, back to her, and we bless her. But you don't need it anymore, and you fill up with your divine essence. So feel her energy being peeled off your back, your spine, your neck, your lungs, your chest, your female organs, your male organs, all your internal organs. Feel her energy coming off your waist, your rear, your thighs. Knees, calves, ankle, toes. And as we take her energy off your toes, we send it through the violet flame back to God, back to her. And we bless her, but you don't need it anymore. And you fill up with your divine essence. So what I want you to do now is allow all that divine energy that's yours, that your mother's energy has kept you from receiving, to come pouring back into your body. So allow that energy to flow all the way down your legs, out your feet, down your arm, out your, down your hands, flowing down your hair. And I'm going to call your higher self and ask your higher self to send you any of your divine essence that you're supposed to receive for this session that your mother's energy has kept you from receiving. And as you take a gentle deep breath and exhale, feel that energy just gently come pouring into your body. And allow it to integrate with every cell and a molecule, all your internal organs, going all the way down into your DNA in a gentle, kind, loving way. So take another deep breath. And as you exhale, let that energy integrate. One more deep breath. And as you exhale, just allow that energy to integrate with all your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And now we're going to remove the energy overlay that your father put over you or your father figure or whoever that male energy figure was in your life. So I ask your little angel now to unzip it from the top of your head and feel that energy being peeled off the top of your head, off the back of your head. The sides off your ears, off your face. Feel his energy being peeled off your neck, off your shoulders, down your arms, off your elbows, your wrists, your hands. And as we take his energy off your fingers, we send it all through the violet flame back to God. And you fill up with your divine essence as we send that energy back to him. And now I want you to feel his energy come off your back, your spine, off all your internal organs, your male organs, your female organs. Feel his energy being peeled down your body, off your waist, your hips, off your knees, your calves, your ankle, feet, toes. And as we take his energy off your toes, we send it through the violet flame back to God, back to him. And we bless him, but you don't need it anymore. And you fill up with your divine essence. So I'm going to call to your higher self and ask your higher self if there's any of your divine essence that is left that you're supposed to have for this session that you're to receive it now. And as you take a deep breath and you exhale, feel that energy again flow into your body. Flow all the way down your legs, out your feet. And let this energy integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, let it integrate. One more deep breath. And as you exhale, let it integrate. And now we're going to move forward in time. And we're going to take back all your divine energy that you've given away or people have taken from you with or without your permission from your future and future lifetimes. So feel all that energy now come pouring back into your body from your future and your future lifetimes. 
And as you're taking back that divine energy, I call to Michael the Archangel to come forth and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on that's not yours, whether it's from a friend, relative, acquaintance, stranger, anybody you work with, TV, set, animal, whatever the karmic reason has created anything out of balance in your life or your body today. And as all that unwanted energy is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to reptile, dinosaur energy, secret societies, organized religion, cut all ties to any oaths, vows, curses, hexes, rituals that could have been done to you or your family going backwards and forwards, hundreds of thousands of generations or anything you could have done consciously or unconsciously. And as that energy too is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to any effigies that have been misused against you. And that's any elemental of yours that was used to hurt you or anyone, including anything you own, clothes, hair, picture, your name spoken, written, just thought of, or anything you have your energy on. And as ties to those elementals are cut. I call the violet flame through them to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We fill them up with love. I command them to be neutral or only emit love. And now I want Michael to come forth, remove any energy implants that have been done to you or anything that could have carried over from any other lifetime that could affect you today. So I want the stick, pen, needle, or a knife. It could be the cause also from black magic, witchcraft, voodoo, or a dark thought form set your way. Now I want the stick, pin, needle, or knife that's in your crown chakra removed from your third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, belly button, root, feet, hands, spine, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hips, teeth, anywhere in your body that's out of balance. And as all those pins, needles, and knives are very gently removed, imagine those spaces immediately filling up with the violet flame to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We fill it up with love. We release all that unwanted energy back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to patriarchy, genocide, rape, incest, slavery, prostitution, persecution, circumcision, removing any energy overlay that's trying to manipulate you, keeping you from connecting with God, healing yourself, being really successful, fulfilling all your divine missions and living your life in joy. And as all that unwanted energy is gently removed, it's keeping all these wonderful things from coming to you. We send it through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. So I call to the creator and if there's any of your divine essence that you're supposed to receive from your future and future lifetimes for this session, then it be given to you now. And as you take a deep breath, feel that energy Come flowing into your body and let it integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. So take a gentle breath and as you exhale, let it integrate. One more breath. As you exhale, let it integrate. So now we're going to move forward. We're going to take back all your divine energy that you gave away or people have taken from you with or without your permission from all those planetary incarnations. And I want you to imagine yourself a bouncing ball. And as you bounce from planet to planet, you super suck up all your divine energy. And as you're doing that, I call to Michael the Archangel to come forth again and cut all ties to any energy you've taken on that's not yours. Whether it's from a friend, relative, acquaintance, stranger, anybody you work with, TV, said animal, whatever the karmic reason is that created anything out of balance in your life or your body today. And as all that unwanted energy is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with your divine essence. Now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to reptile dinosaur energy, secret societies, organized religion, cut all ties to any oaths, vows, curses, hexes, rituals that could have been done to you or your family going backwards and forwards, hundreds of thousands of generations or anything you could have done consciously or unconsciously. And as all that unwanted energy too is peeled off of you gently like an onion skin, it all goes through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to any effigies that have been mis misused against you. And that's any elemental of yours was used to hurt you or anyone, including anything you own, 
clothes, hair, and picture, your name spoken, written, just thought of, or anything you have your energy on. And as ties to all those elementals are cut, I call the violet flame through them to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We fill them up with love. I command them to be neutral or only emit love. And now I want Michael to come forth, remove any energy implants that have been done to you or anything that could have carried over from any other of those lifetimes that could be affecting you today. So I want this stick, pin, needle, or knife that's in your crown chakra removed from your third eye, your throat, heart, solar plexus, belly button, roof, feet, hands, spine, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, hips, teeth, anywhere in your body that's out of balance. And as you feel all those pins, needles, and knives being very gently removed, imagine all those spaces immediately fill up with the violet flame to clean it up, the angel light energy to heal. We release all that unwanted energy back to God. And you fill up with more of your divine essence. And now I want Michael to come forth, cut all ties to patriarchy, genocide, rape, incest, slavery, prostitution, persecution, circumcision, removing any energy overlay that's trying to manipulate you, keeping you from connecting with God, healing yourself, being really successful, fulfilling all your divine missions and living your life in joy. And as all that unwanted energies that's keeping all these wonderful things from coming to you is removed. We send it through the violet flame back to God and you fill up with more of your divine essence. So I'm going to ask the creator if there's any of your divine energy that's left that you're supposed to receive for this session. I'm going to ask that they gives it to you now. And as you take a deep breath and you exhale, feel that energy gently flow into your body. And allow it to integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. And with every breath, feel that integrate. Take another breath. Let it integrate. Another deep breath. And you exhale. Let it integrate. Now we're going to move forward. And I'm going to talk call to your teachers, guides, the masters, all the angels that are working with you. And if any of them have any energy for you or any information, I ask that they give it to you now. And let that flow into your aura. And your aura is becoming even more solid. You're more protected. And now let that energy and information come into your superconscious your subconscious, your conscious mind, your unconscious mind. And now feel it pour into your body. Going all the way down your legs, out your feet, down your arms, out your hands, down your spine. And with every breath, feel more of this information being given to you. So now I call to your teacher's guides, masters, and if there's any more information, energy or information that you're supposed to receive for this session, I'm going to ask that they give it to you now. And as you take a deep breath and as you exhale, allow that energy now to gently flow into your body and integrate in a very gentle, kind, loving way with your cells, atoms, molecules, all your internal organs going all the way down into your DNA. Take a deep breath, let it integrate. Take another deep breath, and as you exhale, let that energy integrate. What we're going to do now is pull all your divine essence up into another bubble of light around your heart. So feel your divine energy now being drawn up from your toes, your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, your hips, your rear, and it's all going into this bubble of light that's forming around your heart. Feel your divine essence being drawn up from your fingers, your hands, your wrists, your elbows being drawn around your shoulders and all going into this bubble of light that's around your heart. Feel your divine energy being peeled off the top of your head, coming down off your face, your ears, the back of your head, your neck, your back, your spine, and all going into this bubble of light around your heart. So I call to this bubble of light, 
And I want it to magnetize any of your divine essence that's left into your body. And as you take a deep, gentle breath and exhale, it's all magnetized into this bubble of light. So what I want you to do, starting at the top of your head, going towards your feet, I want you to do a mental scan of your body. And if there's any place that feels out of balance still, I want you to send this bubble of light that's around your heart into the space until it feels lighter. And please do that now. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> now I want you to allow all this energy just to naturally flow. And I want you to pay attention to where the end of your aura is. Is it very close to you or is it very far away? If it's far away, we now need to draw it in. So it's about six to eight inches away from your nose. So for those of you that can't feel your aura or it's really out there, I want you to take a gentle deep breath. And as you inhale, imagine your aura being drawn closer to you. Exhale. Inhale your auras being drawn even closer to you into your body. Exhale. As you inhale, your aura is even closer. You exhale one more time, you inhale, and you feel your energy now, your, your aura around six to eight inches from your nose. You know, you're like a nice little safe cocoon. And you want it to stay like that because if your energy was really extended, you'd be feeling everything and throwing off the work we're doing tonight. Now, this is going to happen down the road. And like I said earlier, I have no control over it, and it happens to everybody. It takes a little while for the energy work to catch up with the inside, with your internal organs. And when it does, you might get a, you might feel a little nauseous because there's a little bit of shifting that's going on. And it can happen as soon as tomorrow, and like I said, and go as far away as six months down the road so everyone now we definitely need to ground and if you have not really grounded in the first hour put your feet flat on your floor go grab that hematite and hematite's a wonderful grounding stone that i love to use for for grounding people you know in your energies when you're out of body and as your feet are on the flat flat on the floor feel that Earth energy now coming up your feet, up your legs. And feel your energies now being drawn in. Feel yourself being coming very centered, very back in body, very grounded, very clear-headed. And you're becoming even more grounded, more clear-headed, more open to new possibilities. Now, if you are still light-headed, after the show's over, please go hug a tree, put your hands on the tree, send all your energy, excess energy into the tree, and then ask the tree to send you energy back and you'll ground. Or you can go eat something, which is a nice way to ground, or go take a bath. Or don't do any of it, which I don't recommend at all because you're going to be up all night. You know, we did a lot of energy work, and if you participated in the first soul retrieval well this is you know very intense very powerful allow yourself to integrate you know get a good night's sleep and if you ever want more information from me you can check out my website at www.angelitome.com that's a-n-g-e-l-i-t-e-o-m dot com and I have my curse removal on the website under free healing. I have a lot of very cool angel light healing products, which really help you release pain and stress very quickly. And anybody can be a healer and they glow in the dark. How trippy can that be? And some people actually use them for a nightlight, but I use them for healing. 
You can also find me on Facebook. And I put a lot of my power prayers on there because we're constantly giving energy to something, right? I'm on Google, Google Plus. All my shows are back on YouTube. And toward the end of the week, you know, this will also be on the soul retrieval. And again, I ask you to use caution when you use us. And I am not one to tell you how to run your spiritual life or what program you're on. But this is very powerful work. Give yourself time to integrate. So when it does go up on YouTube, listen to, you know, the program. And then I would recommend that's it for the weekend. Let it go for the week. Maybe do it one more time that next weekend and then let it go. Let it integrate. And then the only way reason you would need another soul retrieval is if you really want the energy work and you know the big shift and to go beyond your divine potential or if something happened to you there was an accident or you were sick or you know somebody passed away you know you got fired from your job anything that threw you off and it'll help you go back into center you know, remove the obstacles and help you move forward. So again, it's very, very important that you do ground because connecting with all these people, you know, it's a lot of energy. I mean, I'm an energy addict. And if you probably heard me every now and then, I, I kind of kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, it happens. Um, but again, turning into all these people. Wow. So please ground for me. Next week, I'm going to have Chad Meek back on, and we're going to talk about um, his book called The Giant Rock and his experiences as an abductee and aliens and all that cool stuff. And the first time I had him on the show, I think a couple weeks ago, we were pretty censored. So, you know, censors... Heads up, you're not going to want to do it again ahead of time because, you know, it won't be really pretty. Karma really sucks. It comes back around. So he is fun to talk to and he's full of knowledge. And so Chad Meek will be on next week. So how many of you have actually worked with the energy of love and worked with the violet flame last week and gave it a try to see how it works? Pretty powerful stuff. And it's really going to help us shift the planet into the the quantum leap, everything into the divine enlightenment. Because if you are not reacting to someone's anger, you're not feeding it. And when you work with the energy of love, two things are going to happen. One, either the person's going to change because you've just helped them raise their energy Or two, the energy is going to make them feel very, very uncomfortable and they're going to end up leaving the room, which is, you know, a win-win situation either way because you don't have to deal with that negativity and you're raising their energy. Now, it's a lovely way to help people, you know, send energy to some love and energy to somebody who's sick because if they're sick, they need that energy boost. So they can help themselves heal. Yeah. Or, you know, how many people in your family need that energy, that that love? Have you ever tried it before you go to bed to calling to their higher selves and asking the angels to help them have great days that they're if they're in school? that their higher selves help them be open-minded to learning, to be more attentive to the teacher, to be able to absorb that knowledge and see what happens. You know, it's kind of fun. How many of you call down divine energy around somebody who's having a difficult time? I mean, come on, what happened? You saw them shift, right? That's the only thing that's going to happen. Yeah, it's amazing. And when you see it shift, that person go from this dark, negative energy 
to somebody who's kind and compassionate and can talk to you. That's pretty cool, yeah? And all you do is call divine peace, divine calm, divine love to descend down around them. And you can even do that with crying babies, which is awesome. Yeah, divine sleep, divine calm, divine peace, divine sleep, descend down around you now. Chant that in your mind a little bit, a couple minutes, and see what happens to the baby. The baby becomes calm, and a lot of times it will go to sleep because you just got rid of all that negative energy that it was feeling, and you reconnected them to the creator. Got kids or people that need help, you know, have no motivation to get jobs, well, call divine peace, divine calm, divine motivation, divine right action down around them and see what happens. Divine job hum hunting. Now, as long as you put divine in front of it, you are not manipulating. You're calling down a very high positive energy and you're sending them an aspect of that, the creator that they're lacking. I can say I did it with my kids and, you know, within a week, less, actually it was less than a week, they all had jobs, which I considered a miracle. You know what I mean? So try work calling down divine energy. Try working with the energy of love and think about quantum leaping the world into enlightenment and what life will be like. Because no matter what you are into, what your activism is, when we are in enlightenment, the world is enlightenment, everything else will fall into place and your jobs will be easier. Why? Because everybody's then reconnected to the creator and they know better. And all those programs that you're trying to implement, well... All those people are going to be open to them because they're going to be reconnected to the creator. They're going to be an awakened, conscious, spiritual being open to new possibilities. I mean, how much more awesome and easier can that get? And, you know, have you dealt with a person that's not an awakened, spiritual being and one who is? Yeah, which one would you rather deal with? Uh-huh, yeah, the happy, enlightened one, the compassionate one. So play with the energy of love this week. And this is the full moon coming up, by the way. So watch your emotions. Watch what you say. Try to amplify the positive. And if you work with the energy of love, that should be a little bit easier. And with that note, I hope everyone has an awesome week and aloha from Hawaii.